guys and welcome back to my channel so today we are making fried plantain bowls we are making fried plantain bowls with minced beef so let's see the ingredients we're going to need fried uh, very ripe plantain sorry we're going to need self-raisin flour if you don't have self-raisin flour we can use all purpose and add, add a half a teaspoon of baking powder grated onions grated ginger salt and leftover minced beef Okay, so here we are ready. We have mashed our plantain. Uh, I used an African way to mash my plantain, which is using the mortar. But if you don't have one, you can just mash your plantain the way you mash your potatoes. It's fine. It's not a problem. You can use a fork. You can use your hands. You can use. Um, you can even put it in the blender. But the only thing is that the blender is going to blend it too smooth. Now, if you don't mind, that's fine because it doesn't have to be rough. It can be smooth. The texture is up to you to be honest but I wanted mine to be not that smooth that's why I did I mashed it with my African way which can be done with a potato masher as well so here we have added the flour we're going to mix it we're going to add all the ingredients the grated onions the grated ginger we're going to add a little bit of salt now the salt we're going to have to be very careful because we want to add the minced beef the minced beef i did it actually i was making another recipe that's when i used the minced beef i make i made the minced beef for another recipe and that was left over in the fridge so today i just decided to use it for something and i realized i had ripe plantain i said okay let me try something that's how this recipe came around so the minced beef, beef has been um spiced already seasoned and everything already so it has everything in, inside so that's why it's better to add your minced beef first i added my salt first because i knew how i wanted it to be so it's up to you but i will advise you to add your minced beef first to mix it very well so you add your flour you add your grated onions you add your grated ginger and then you add your minced beef you mix it very well and you taste it if you think it needs more salt then you can add more salt if you think not then that's fine you can leave it like that and start frying it so it's all up to you but i'm sure you will like the recipe if you like it please don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and leave a comment if you try the recipe if you add your own twist to it anything like that just mention it in the comment section that will help a lot of people and that will help me as well because i'm here to learn too i'm here to give you ideas to inspire you but i would love to be inspired too so thank you very much for your support and let's keep cooking So here I wanted to mention something. The minced beef, you can add as much as you want. There's no particular quantity. It's all up to you as well. So the, for the frying, the oil I used was used to fry chicken and plantain. So that's why the color is like that. It's good as well because it adds this taste to it as well. <laughs> There's flavor to it because it's been used for something delicious also. So here is your food is ready and served.